from the desk at Old Mates. You're watching Backyard Tech. Yesterday for weekend Saturdays here at the Backyard Tech Channel, Old Mate did a Q&A and Advice Pro Audio video regarding normalization versus hard limiting for a viewer. Now, unfortunately, whilst they sort of get it, they now want an example of hard limiting, which I find a little strange because I know what hard limiting is, thus I would have assumed everyone did. Because let's face it, if I know about it, everyone sort of knows about it. So in this follow-up video, that's exactly what I'm going to show you. Hard limiting. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in, weekend Sundays here at the Backyard Tech Channel, a bit of a follow up video to yesterday's Old Mates Q&A and advice video regarding normalisation and hard limiting. Now the viewer CD has got back in touch and wants an example of hard limiting. Now I find this a little weird because in yesterday's video I basically explained it in a KISS scenario and it would appear as though they still don't get it. So, what I thought we'd do is I'll show you an example of hard limiting using um, some YouTube music that I already use, but also the premise of this is I want you to think of this as an unmastered track. Now, I'm not going to go over mastering. We've gone over mastering just like we've gone over recording and mixed down. So, this track has already been recorded, mixed, and mastered, but what I want you to do is think of it as unmastered for this because you if you if you master if you remaster a mastered track you can induce spurious signals that shouldn't be there for want of a better term okay so i want you to think of this piece of music it's actually from it's monday uh, I'd end. I want you to think of this piece of music having been recorded and mixed into stereo, okay, but not mastered. All right. Otherwise, you 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 guys will get yourselves confused. So it's basically I want you to think of it as a raw mixed track, without it having been mastered. Now the viewer CD doesn't understand what I mean by hitting the roof, hitting that upper thing. Okay, so. I'm going to show you, essentially, I'm going to show you what hard limiting does and sounds like, all right? At least I'm going to try and do it. Anyway, oh, I can show you how to do it. It's whether I can get it to sound right. That's the big the big problem. So, let's open up my preferred two-track mastering suite and have a sticky beak. All righty. So, as I said at the beginning of the video, I want you to think of this as an unmastered track because you wouldn't do this on an already mastered piece of music, okay? So what I want you to do is think of this as having been recorded and mixed from multi-track into two-track stereo, but not mastered. See, the problem is doing this to an already mastered piece of music, you can actually induce spurious audio signals that just should not be there, okay? But for demonstration purposes, hopefully this viewer gets the drift. I don't understand why people don't know this stuff because I do. So if I know it, everyone should know it. It's 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 basic audio. Okay, it's really basic audio stuff. So the piece of music we're using for this is from the It's Monday Ident here at Backyard Tech. Kevin McLeod's uh, heavy interlude. Now. As you can see, I've recorded this in as a low level record because when you go to limit it, you start to bring everything up. Okay, and I'm gonna show you that. I would have thought yesterday's video would have explained it, but this viewer can't seem to get it through their head, the output ceiling, basically. All right, so for the, this, I'm gonna use my preferred hard limit maximizer, whatever you wanna call it, the L2 from WAVS. This is the one I've always used. 
I prefer it to the other maximizers that I've got. I've got L3. I don't like L3. So we've got a 24-bit quantize. We're dithering in type A and we're just normal shaping. I'm not going to bother doing anything funky. We've got the ARC preset at one, so the release. Now, for the purpose, I hope I can't hear this properly, okay? Because of the way I've got this set up, and I don't like headphones, I can't hear this. So I'm hoping it's not too loud. Okay. So you can see there, it's an extremely low level. All right? Now, we're gonna use yesterday's thing of minus two dB. Now this is minus two dB. If I can get an FS. Now, you can see here I've got the master down. All right, this is the master output. It is linked. It is not unlinked, it is linked. Okay. As I said, this is simple audio stuff, guys. This isn't complicated. You know, just because I've been doing this sort of stuff since 1986, I'm not the only one in the world that knows this. All right. Everyone should know this sort of stuff. All right. So, as I said, they're linked to RMS. All right. So, you can see here. Um, left and right are a little bit out. They're almost a full dBFS out. Uh, 0.8 of a decibel. Yeah, almost 0.8 of a decibel out. All right, so we have our minus 2 dB. Now remember, it's not hard limited. Let me show you what I was talking about. Bring the threshold down. Way down, way, 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 way down. And you can see that it cannot, we're getting a little bit of attenuation there. Not a lot of attenuation, but a little bit. All right. Let's bring it down further. Let's bring it down to, say, minus 7.4 dBFS. Okay. And this will give you an idea. All right. Let's bring that threshold down. Okay. Down, 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 down. Way down. Now you can see it's not going over it. We've got an attenuation of nearly just on minus six. Okay. So you can see there, it is not allowed to go over minus 7.4 dBFS. It just can't do it. That is hard limiting, right? The output ceiling is set at minus 7.4 dBFS. Okay, now this equates to dBVU as well in the analog realm where you could limit it so that your output level would cut off at, in some cases with Dolby, you could go to plus 3 dBVU, okay? And then you Dolby B it and that pulls it back, okay? Now, if I bring that down to minus, say, minus 10 dBFS, if I can get it there, there we go. And we do the same thing. You can see I'm down at minus 30 dB on the thing, and this cannot get over minus 10. All right? It'll be somewhat distorted. It would be worse if you had the threshold up at minus at zero. Okay? Which I can probably show you. I'll pull the volume down on that and bring that up. Okay? And you can see it. We're now down to nearly minus nine on the attenuation level. Now, compression is a little different, okay? Compression basically brings everything together. You sort of compress the dynamic range, whereas hard limiting, you're making it that it can't, it can't go up. Now, what I can show you here is what a hard limit track looks like once you've run your, um, your processes. So if I take this back to uh, minus 10, okay, let me bring that volume up a bit so you guys can hear it, to about there, okay, now I'm going to render this out, all right, and if I um, minimize that, okay, so you can see here, if I get rid of my master controls, Up there for the moment. So you can see here we've got dynamic range, we've got peaks and troughs in the waveform, etc., etc., etc. Okay. 
So you can see that. Now watch what happens to that waveform when I go to render it. You see? You cut off. And this is what I was saying. If we go to about there, oop, about there, I've lost the mouse again. There it is. So you can see when you start to block it up, everything gets cut. So you, you're basically hitting a ceiling and you cannot get any louder than that ceiling. And that's what limiting is all about. When you put a compressor and you, you, you basically wind the attack time up and the threshold all the way down and the output ceiling, you limit, right? In compression, you have some dynamic range still, but when you start limiting things, you know, it means the signal cannot go over that limit, right? And you saw it there in the, in the maximizer. I lost it. Hang on. Ah. So we were at minus 10. All right. Now, the other thing to do, and this I will wind the volume all the way back for this because it's going to be freaking loud otherwise. Let's say I want to undo that... Uh, Undo mask. Okay, so now we're back to dynamic range. And I want to master this out from minus 30 dB to zero. All right. You can see it's pretty, pretty loud. Bring the volume up a little bit. Okay. You can see it can't go over zero dB. All right. Let's say I render that out. All right. And you can see here with the waveform, it gets cut right at that very top section. Now, if I compress this, look at that. Okay, it's basically hole smashed at zero dB. There is, there's no waveform there. It, it, it's compressed in that direction and everything is made louder. And you saw with the, with the L2 maximizer, all right, See how loud, and it'll be distorted as well, okay? Now, if I disable that and I bring up our meters, now this this is zero, this is zero dB VU, okay? This isn't zero dB FS, this one's in zero dB VU because you can see we can go to plus five dB. And if I bring that up a little bit, and you can see here, it's, it, it's getting stuck. Now, if I rewind that track, so it's at minus 15 dB VU, and you see it can't go over it, all right? That's, that's the way limiting works. Now, compression's different, all right? And normalization, as I said yesterday, would just normalize it out. Now, I don't have a normalization plugin, but that's hard limiting for you. All right, so hopefully for the viewer CD, they uh, they get it. Um, it's the easiest way I can explain it, guys. All right, and I mean, like I know this sort of stuff, so if I know it, everyone should know it because it's very simple audio. It's not complicated. It's very simple. Okay, and. The thing is, is that when you are normalizing, you're only averaging. Hard limiting, you're making it that nothing can get over that preset output. It does not matter. I mean, you know, if you want, you can quantize at 16 bit. You know, or you can um, noise shape at type A. It doesn't matter. You know, your dithering can be at 16 bit, whatever you want. It, 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 it honestly does not matter. Okay. But as I said, normalization just makes a, an average of around minus 2 dB, whereas hard limiting means you can't go over it. That's it. The output ceiling is there. That's it. How come I know this sort of stuff? I, th 
thought everyone knew this. It's basic audio 101. So hopefully that explains it for, for CD. There we go. Stick around. More coming up. Have a good one. Cheers.